Hey, I just did a uh, pour over demo here. Beautiful coffee. It's got a bit of oil to it. Um, I always say oily coffee is old coffee, but there is one exception. And that exception is this wonderful coffee I just made here after a day of roasting at night at night. And the reason it's so wonderful is because it's a Swiss water decaf. So with the decaf coffee beans, they will have a little bit of oil on the surface, even though they're not old. We're talking a bit about cups. People were asking me. Glass cup, ceramic cup, large ceramic cup with room for your big nose to get in there kind of a thing. I say that because roasters use their nose and, well, my nose is the most important thing. This is a typical cup for cupping. So for me to get my nose into this mug here is the best way to taste coffee. That's one of the problems with a small mouth mug is you don't get your nose in there to smell it. All right. The other problem with the glass mug is it tends to taste different. Usually it cools off quicker. So we were roasting coffee. We're on the cool down. This coffee went in about 21 minutes ago. Medium roast, little air roaster. And for those of you that uh, asked about coffee and roasting, there's lots of different ways to roast. Here's an old school roaster, like a peanut roaster. You put on a heat source, like a, a stove. But you can also uh, do it like we did with popcorn before we had microwave popcorn, so to speak, and, and do your green coffee beans on a frying pan right on an element. Or you can get a little home unit like this, which has an afterburner. The afterburner means it it's not too smoky and it's not too smelly. If you roast coffee in your house, you might find it's a little smoky. And you might trip the fire extinguisher. So these are the coffees we brought in today. Four coffees, all of them Cafe Feminino certified. About 80% of the coffees we roasted last year are Cafe Feminino. And this little roaster here is a little one pounder. We'll probably set that up with the propane on the patio this summer and do demos because we don't do demos in the roasting facility anymore. So respect the bean, the coffee tree here. This one's about five years old, but a production tree and a farm by a lady like that Cafe Feminino farmer in the picture. They, uh, they produce one to two pounds of this beautiful green coffee in a year. So when you buy a pound of coffee, just remember that's a whole tree's production. And uh, did a demo a little while ago, decaf. So you can have your coffee late at night. Another little tidbit people were asking me on some of the videos. Try using a stainless steel spoon and a silver spoon, silver plated, and get your coffee in the spoon just like it's a, uh, a soup and slurp it with lots of noise. Just like I said, you want to get your nose into the cup. When you slurp coffee off a spoon, it's like getting your nose in the cup. So it'll blast that into your mouth and you'll be able to smell it in your olfactory and you'll taste things in coffee you never tasted. This coffee is super fantastic, Swiss water decaf. Take care, support organic fair trade and Cafe Feminino when you can. And don't forget fresh roasted coffees like a cinnamon bun. If the coffee's really old, it's generally got oil on the surface of the bean and it just doesn't taste as good. Not too many people are interested in going to the bakery and finding the old bread or the old cinnamon buns. All right, so there's a little home roaster again with the afterburner. That coffee's ready to go. If we brewed it now, it'd be a little too fresh, so we'd have to wait till tomorrow and be ready then. Cheers. Thanks for your support. Dave, grab a Java coffee roasting.